Corner 1 here, right in France now for round number 8 of the 2020 season. And the main news was, of course, was partly about Renault. They had managed to secure a 1-2 in the previous race in Italy, which means the local fans and home fans across France were hoping that Ocon and Ricardo would be able to achieve the same in France. Although Ocon has admitted that he needs Ricardo to be closer to him in qualifying in order to make the match of the team strategy work to better. Elsewhere, DS Chichita are also looking to impress. Of course, DS is, is a French manufacturer, meaning that this is, te is, this is their home race, and they too are looking to go well. However, engine failures recently uh, at the last race, especially after Sergio Perez's particular one and China, means that it could be a sour note for DS on their home soil. Red Bull, meanwhile, are, are, are puzzled how, how and where their pace has gone after Verstappen won the previ pre previous two races before Italy. They since seemingly been nowhere since in showing little pace at Italy and in the early stages of the French Grand Prix. Let's take a look at the grid then for today's French Grand Prix. S. Ocon took pole in the Renault, the French hands happy with that. Sebastian Vettel showing the Ferrari is up there, he starts P2. Tony Felix da Costa, one of his better qualifiers, only 15,000, sorry 1500, sorry 15,000 excuse me, separating Da Costa from Ocon, Leclerc down in P4, only a little over a tenth behind. Norris fifth, Ricardo, Perez, Sainz, Albon and Gasly running on top ten. Nova Stappen, he starts eleventh with a free choice of tyres, second slower. Felipe Massa has a, one of his better qualifying, he starts twelfth. Hampson thirteenth, Evans is fourteenth, Magnussen are disappointed with only fifteenth, Hartley sixteenth with the two Venturi Williams, with Venturi Williams, excuse me, of Russell, with Van Dorn, Hamilton, and De Vries lining up the grid for today's French Grand Prix. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video of the F1 E Mod, episode number eight. I thought I'd get this out before the weekend because, of course, trying to upload a video and get any views on the weekend is pre pre pretty much impossible um, these days due to all of the virtual Grand Prix that are going on. But yes, um, so hopefully you are going to enjoy your weekend. Um, obviously, the, the Bundesliga is back tomorrow as well. Um, if you if you got a, if you got some tips on who who I should particularly look out for in the Bundesliga, I do follow the Bundesliga with the highlights, but there we go um that is the first sport major sport really to come back but back to the uh, racing and we're here in france um keep your eyes open on the run to turn one and keep it clean we want to come out in one piece good luck before i was interrupted by jeff um it's a circuit that i've never really gone well at in the past um I'm not really i've never really even got on the podium here so um we're, we're outside the top 10. We're going to reverse this, do the reverse strategy, starting on mediums, ending on softs. It seems that since the uh, our little blowout at the Spanish Grand Prix, the tyre wear sort of stabilised, um, which is good. Um, it's only 3,200 slower, so I think that's going to be the better strategy in that way. We don't get, we avoid the problems of getting held up in the pits because I don't think a lot of the AI at all, if at all, will be doing that strategy as five red lights come on. Go and oh my goodness grief! It's a dreadful start. The uh, it's I believe that's uh, Massa already gone, but we're going to have a look down the inside of Verstappen. Um, okay, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Well, we appear to have gone up into P9. As Kevin Magnussen has been annihilated from the behind there. It was one of the Venturi Williams there. Um, he did collect with the Mercedes. I think that was Hamilton on the right-hand side. 
But I think we got a penalty because of our avoiding a sort of this tap and not seeing really seeing what was going on, sort of. And you can see there on the mini map, uh, the three leaders, that is Ocon, Da Costa, and Vettel, have decided to come in. Nobody else is coming in. And they're going to be switching to a two stop strategy for today's race as they put on another set of soft tyres. That's the end of lap one. Um, I, th as I think it's a bit too early. And Virgin Audi's race has just gone from bad to worse as De Vries has retired now with an engine failure. That going up, the ALD engine going out like a bonfire. So we're down to 18 runners. A safety car comes at the end of lap three. And we're in the slipstream of the Jaguar. I think it's Pierre Gasly. Um, as we move down in turn one, he gets him a little bit of understeer. And now, of course, we've got Max Verstappen. He's in a big move. He doesn't. He somehow found himself behind us. Although we do have a path about penalty, but, unfor but unfortunately, we do not have enough power nor enough downforce to be able to challenge Verstappen. And we might be able to challenge Albon though. I think he is lost out actually looking around the minimap. Double check that. In fact, it's Massa going past Albon and up into the points for. Uh, well, he's up to ninth place, I think that is, for the Brazilian. He hasn't had any points so far. And he's come close on a few occasions, but of course, as time goes past, we're into the lap, end of lap six now. Sorry, the start of lap six. Um, we take the lead. Um, we've got Massa behind us, who's sort of starting to slow everybody else. I think actually it might be Russell, actually, uh, with Hamilton and of course those two. I think Ocon has already made his second stop by Vettel and of course uh, um, Da Costa. Um, but this is for the battle that's for behind us now as everybody starts to make their stops with Leclerc leading from Norris. Um, Norris and Leclerc is on the hard tyres as well, so we're going to come into the pits here, and unfortunately we have to we're going to have to surf this five second stop. I think we would have done enough with the strategy to come out in P5 if we haven't we haven't done that, but that's how far the switch there. There's also um, Gasly is well up in the order as well. Unfortunately, we have to wait. So Leclerc retakes the lead from Norris. Then goes uh, Perez and Verstappen. And where are we going to come out in relation to uh, Gasly, who's up in P5? Well, saying that, he's just been overtaken by the looks of it. And um, unfortunately, um, well, that's cost us a few positions. We're going to come out in P11, um, just outside the points and ahead of Alex Albon. Sorry, ahead of uh, Tacosta. Excuse me. Um, can we get ahead now of Felipe Massa? Ooh. Okay, we're going to fake to the round side. Massa's two defences, and that's going to allow us to go round the outside and up into P10. Sorry, Massa, that's your points over. Next up is, uh, they're all going very slowly. Jaguar has a problem of... of uh, Gasly has a huge problem. He's slowing right down. We go down the inside of Vettel into the penultimate corner there. Vettel's going to come back at us, though. Up onto lap 11. We've only got a couple more laps left, but we've got to make the use of these soft tyres. Breaking it down the inside now. We've got Albon now on the hard tyres, but Vettel comes back us again on the mediums, using that Ferrari power, and Massa now comes back us. Uh, so we're going to have to hold it to the outside. Albon's got ahead, and we're going to take the inside line of the corner on the Jaguar and get up into P8. That's a fanta. That's a nice little overtake there. Squeeze. Managed to get late on the brakes, round the outside, and up into P8. But it's not over yet. We've got Vettel and Massa now, who have got past Gasly and relegated him outside the points. We push Vettel off circuit there. And taking no stuff about, and that allows Da Costa now to get up ahead of Vettel as well. This is on the last lap. Can we defend from Costa? Da Costa, no, he's got the outside lump. But he takes too much of the curb in. And that allows us to come back in and retain P8. And that is it for that is it P8. Would have been much much better, but after that qualifying, um, yes, we could. We, that, that's a good ending. 
I'll take PA after that penalty. Leclerc won the Grand Prix. He's going to be miles ahead in the championship. Norris a good second place now. His second podium of the season. Verstappen third. Perez fourth. Ricardo only making it up to fifth. Sainz in sixth. Albon, myself, Da Costa. And only Vettel. Tenth place for the German. He's only one point from two races now. For Ocon got... Uh, two points of pole. Um, he finished outside the top ten. Massa and had finished, finished twelfth. Had a Russell thirteenth. Evans in fourteenth. Hamilton fifteenth. Hartley was useless in sixteenth. Gasly struggled all the way down to seventeenth with Van Dorn, the only man who didn't manage to overtake with De Vries and Magnus and the two Virgin Audis, unable to finish the race uh, after crashing out on well, Magnussen getting assassinated and. Uh, Degrees not finishing with the engine failure. So Leclerc um, has now an um, absolutely ginormous lead, uh, 27 points over Max Verstappen now, moves into second place. Vettel drops to third, 99 points. Ocon retains P4, but only two points ahead of Perez. Sainz and Norris are closing in as well. They have one down to eighth, Ricardo ninth, and then there's a bit of a gap to myself, to Costa and Magnussen. In terms of the drivers, uh, scratches, excuse me, there is absolutely no change um, in there, although Ferrari are sort of starting to edge a little bit out against As Red Bull. Renault trying to catch up uh, to uh, Red Bull and McLaren also in the hunt there, closing back up to them. Only one point between those two. So yes, that's going to be it for today's episode of the F1 E Mod. If you enjoyed, you like the subscribe channel. You see more episodes of the F1 E Mod and other modded series as and when they come out on this channel. But until the next VR6 time, take care. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day and goodbye.